Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Race 5 of the FFI Cup Series, the Altel 350. We're here in Indianapolis. 43 cars all looking to cross that brick line first today. Let's see which one of them can do it and which one of them has no chance in the world to cross it. This is Savitsky Race and their owner, Mike Savitsky. His birthday was just a couple weeks ago and it's Father's Day today, so hey, let's see what they can do. David Reagan has a pole. This is impressive. Paul Menard, he's always good at Indianapolis. He's got second place. Matthew Savitsky has been falling off late race the last couple of races. Let's see if he can hold it starting 6th. Jimmy Johnson needs a huge finish today starting 28th. And Jeff Gordon, always the fastest in practice in this series, it seems like. He's starting 5th place. Let's go ahead and give you the starting lineup. Row 1, David Reagan and Paul Menard. Row 2, Matt Kenseth and Joey Logano. Row 3, Jeff Gordon and Matthew Savitsky. Row 4, Casey Kane and Jared Sand. Row 5, Martin Truex Jr. and Jamie McMurray. Row 6, Bobby Labonte and Clint Boyer. Row 7, Jeff Burton and Carl Edwards. Row 8, Denny Hamlin and Marcos Ambrose. Row 9, Casey Mears and Garrett Pickett. Row 10, Eric Almarola and Ryan Newman. Row 11, Kevin Harvick and Brad Keselowski. Row 12, Brian Vickers and Justin Maurer. Row 13, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Kyle Busch. Row 14, Jordan Strombeck and Jimmy Johnson. Row 15, Greg Biffle and Tony Stewart. Row 16, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and J.J. Yaley. Row 17, Trevor Bain and Regan Smith. Row 18, Dave Blaney and David Stremme, the Dave Row. Row 19, Sam Hornish Jr. and Juan Pablo Montoya. Row 20, Danica Patrick, David Gilliland. Row 21, Eric, or no, no, just kidding. A.J. Almendinga, Reed Sorensen, and once again on the back row, Terry Labonte. Let's go ahead and get the green flag. Here they come down the front stretch. Oh, early move by Matthew Savitsky moving to the inside. And a couple guys in the back are also moving to the inside. Justin Maurer all by himself. We got a huge battle for the lead. Paul Menard wants the lead really bad. And oh, Jimmy Johnson gets loose. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how'd they not wreck? Oh, my. That is a crazy wreck. Oh, that should have been a wreck. Here we have David Reagan. We're on board with him. He's going to go ahead and lead lap one. And we're going through the corners. Let's see how he goes through these corners. Oh, we got a huge fight right there. The cars are all scrambled up in the back. Right next to around 10th place, that looks like. And oh no, Ryan Newman gets turned. Oh boy, we got a huge wreck. Multi-car pile up. Oh my goodness, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Wow, what a wreck. J.J. Yaley blocking the track. Let's go ahead and get a replay. Here looks like Ryan Newman. He's on the very right of your screen right now, that very small hood. And oh, he gets turned by Casey Mears right there. Casey Mears did not slow down. He got a huge run, and he goes right up into Brian Vickers, who then spins out. Brad Keselowski has to go down. And he gets turned right over the hood of the 40 car, and Trevor Bain then gets turned down in the 40 car. Of course, he smashes into a couple of those guys up there, it looks like. And the 40 car gets smashed because he has nowhere to go. Everyone else up there gets turned. Tony Stewart, he ends up going around. He needed a way better finish than this today, way, way better. And then, of course, right there, Kyle Busch thinks he's getting through. But... Trevor Bain's car went out of control. Here are the guys involved. Huge guy, Dave Blaney. He needed a better finish today. Let's go ahead and get a restart on lap three. And here they come down the front stretch. David Reagan and Matthew Savitsky racing for the lead. Eric Almarola right through the middle. He's taking a huge, huge jump right there, and he's in the top five now. Casey Kane falling off a little bit. Top three rookies right now. Savitsky, Sand, and Pickett. Oh, Savitsky goes to first. Garrett Pickett, huge run. Goes right into second place. One, two, three rookies right now. Matthew Savitsky barely leaves that lap. Oh, we got a wreck. Clint Boyer spun right over the hood. Oh, my goodness. He's intentionally. No, it wasn't really intentional. But he is wrecked by Bobby Labonte. Let's go ahead and get a replay. I don't believe this was intentional. Let's see. We have Clint Boyer and Bobby Labonte right there. Clint Boyer. Well, Bobby Labonte looks like he gets a little loose right there. And Clint Boyer ends up paying for it. There goes him right over the hood of Ambrose down into Truex Jr. Unfortunately for Truex Jr., he was having a good run. These are around 15th place right now. Amazing by Jordan Strombeck. Look at this. Right through the middle. Kevin Harvick into the back of Jordan Strombeck right there. And she spins out of control, losing a couple positions. But, oh man, she saved the car. No wreck. These are the cars involved. Clint Boyer, Bobby Labonte, 
Martin Trex Jr., they all need a good finish as Ambrose. Restart on board with Eric Almarola pushing Jared Sand across the line. Now we're with Jared Sand, as a matter of fact, and he's going around the corners. Here they go. Oh, it looks like some guys on the outside aren't have, getting a good start. This Carl Edwards jumping to the inside. And Jared Sand's got the lead, Almarola. There comes Paul Menard on the outside. Paul Menard wants the lead. Matthew Savisky coming back into the top five. Paul Menard takes the lead. Jared Sand falling back all the way to third place. Paul Menard. Eric Almarola leading the field around the corner. There's Matt Kenseth. Paul Menard in the lead. Oh, David Reagan with a pretty good move right there going into third place. What a move for David Reagan. Here's on board with Paul Menard across the line for lap seven. Let's go ahead and stay on board with him for the beginning of this corner, or maybe we won't. Now here we go. Eric Almarola taking the lead in McMurray around Reagan, but McMurray gets a little loose outside, and Reagan goes on, and Paul Menard retakes the lead. Denny Hamlin, where'd he come from? He's up into third place. David Reagan and McMurray all alone out there. Oh, Jeff Gordon gets loose. Oh, no, he goes into Jamie McMurray. Wreck for Jeff Gordon and Jamie McMurray. They get loose. And Jamie McMurray, the points leader, will go down with Jeff Gordon. He's running fifth place in the points right now. Let's get a replay of that and see exactly what happened. Pinpoint accuracy. Jeff Gordon, he gets loose right there, and he just loses control. Down, dodging another dodge for Jordan Strombeck right there. And there goes Jeff Gordon into the wall with Jamie McMurray. There's Matthew Svizky. They're running pretty back there right now, apparently. Back out of the top 10 even. Let's check out the top 10, actually. Paul Menard in first place. Second place, Eric Amarola. Oh, my goodness, they're going so fast I can't even read it. It doesn't matter. Casey Kane is in 20th place. Here we go. Restart on lap 9 out of 10. Nobody cares about the top 10 anyways, so let's go ahead and go so fast that we don't even believe it. Here we're on board with Paul Menard. He's going around the first corner right now. Another on board. There's Denny Hamlin. And now we have Kevin Harvick. He's doing pretty well right now. Paul Menard, he's kind of loose right now, it looks like. He loses the lead to Eric Almarola. And there's a huge lead for Eric Almarola. Let's see if anyone can chase him down. It looks like Reed Sorensen's is coming on the outside to chase him down. Final lap as Eric Almarola is going around the first corner through the middle around turn two. Eric Almarola leading the lap. He's on the back stretch. Here comes Matthew Savitsky. They ditch Reed Sorensen. He's going for the lead. Huge run on the outside for all the Savitsky racing cars. And they take the lead. Jerson almost jumps on him, but Matthew Savitsky takes the win here at Indianapolis. Congratulations to Matthew Savitsky on winning the race and Mike Savitsky winning on Father's Day and for his birthday. What a performance for Savitsky Racing. A 1-2-3 punch with a fifth place as a bonus. Cherry on top. What an ice cream finish. Jared Sand, huge jump in the points, by the way. Eric Almarola back in two the top 11 what a amazing finish that was I didn't know who was gonna win there not a clue Justin Maurer first ever race gets a top five I that guy might be good in the future Paul Menard closed out a pretty good day David Reagan would have hoped for a better finish than that eighth place Reed Sorensen's not bad first race of the year Denny Hamlin got a solid top 10 today and Carl Edwards snuck a top 10 in there. I didn't see that coming, but man, he snuck it right in there. Jordan Strombeck, strong run today, gaining four positions in the points. And of course, Matt Kenseth, first in the points now because Jay McMurray wrecked. Joey Logano doing all right. Jeff Burton needed this strong finish. He could have finished a little stronger. That would have helped more. Kevin Arvick, not a great finish compared to where he is in the points. But he didn't lose that much, so. Casey Kane back into the top 10 now. Not a bad finish. 16th. 17th, Greg Biffle. He is also 17th in the points, going up a little bit. Not a lot. Juan Pablo Montoya, best finish of the year by far. He's up to 28th in the points. Terry Labonte, 19th. Not a bad day. He's 44th in the points, though. David Stremme, first race, 46th in the points. A.J. Allmendinger, up into the top 35. He's in next week's race. Dale Jr., if he could have just gotten to top 15 today, he'd be in the chase right now. Jimmy Johnson, he was 43rd for a while in this race, so he came back to 23rd. Not horrible. Danica Patrick outside of the top 15 points now. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., he needs a good finish. We can get out of the bubble of not making a race. There's Regan Smith. Should be in the top 35, but he's not. David Gillen, last finishing car today, 47th place. And Jeff Gordon only drops to 8th place, only 3 positions, not a horrible DNF. Jamie McMurray picks good races to DNF and still gets a top 30, second in points. 
And Clint Boyer only loses three positions, four positions. Not a horrible race. Marcos Ambrose, outside the top 20, he's going to need to get back in if he wants to win a championship this year, or even make the chase for that matter. Bobby Labonte had a really strong run today. Ended up wrecking. Unfortunate for that guy, he needed one. So did Martin Truex Jr. and Kyle Busch. Man, those three guys right there, they all needed good finishes. Brad Keselowski, outside the top 12. Well, only 10, but whatever. He needs a win. There is Ryan Newman. He's still in the chase because of his win, of course. Trevor Bain. J.J. Yaley losing his top 35 position. Brian Vickers needs to get back in the top 20 so his win counts. David Stremme losing positions fast. Casey Mears not having a good two races here at all. Tony Stewart needs to pick it up. He is really far out there right now. Dave Blaney, huge loser today, down to 18th. This is Dr. Spitzy. We're signing out. We're coming back to Indianapolis next week, though. We'll see you later for race six of the FFI Cup Series. I'm out.